It's time for a blast from the past. I've always dreamt of doing something more exotic. And with 15% off my insurance, Amy Safe Driver Awards helped me get there. I make special drink for you today, Rhonda. Thank you. You look so hot today. Oh. Like a sunrise. You're naughty. Thank you, Katut. Remember, eyes on the road, Rhonda. Amy Safe Driver Awards offer up to 15% discount for drivers who don't claim. Where will the savings take you? Katut and Rhonda. You look so hot today, like a sunrise. That's what I remember. You've got a completely different take on it. But so that was, remember they kept it going. They had like a whole soap opera with them where she went back home and he was going to come visit her at the dance. They turned this into a thing. I was, I was hooked. This was better than Desperate Housewives. Yeah, I kind of lost me. I only like this one out of all of them. This is the only one that really had me because they had her in the office and they all started clapping with Rhonda and all the rest of it. I thought they took it a little bit too far, but you had to because this one was such a hit. But just to the point, and we kind of missed it, or I missed it on the last one about telling a story. So this is storytelling, telling a story that is relatable to your product. Yeah. It's realistic. It's so this whole story is 15% off insurance, which is why Rhonda's over there with Katut in the first place, because she saved money. You go to the home insurance. This is what's happened in my home. Now you're saving it. The UFO I don't get that story. That's unbelievable. It makes no sense to me. I don't connect the dot between your brand and the industry you sit in and how you're going to help me. So this one just nailed it in terms of 15% off your insurance, saves me money if I'm just like Rhonda and I can go overseas and enjoy a wonderful holiday and fall in love. And it shows you how important casting is. Oh. I promise you this ad doesn't get anywhere near as much traction if that guy's accent wasn't that smooth and if he wasn't just such a nice dude, but you start rooting for him. Rhonda's a nerd. She's cute. She's funny. But him, he's the one that you gravitate towards and you're like, that's a nice dude. And I don't know what it was. I, I don't know why. I mean, there's so many ads with people with accents. You got the, the two Russian meerkat people. You got random dudes dancing. Another. This was, it was like, it wasn't even trying. And they just found the perfect dude that everyone wanted to root for. And it was like, cool, I'm in, I'm yours. Now the, the, the scary thing or the trip is, did they take it too far? And that's where I, I think what started to happen was, so this kept, this became a soap opera. So I don't know, is the, is the woman with orange hair, is she kind of a famous actress in Australia? Like, did people know her? She was so a nobody, she was, this was her. Because I was thinking, my, my entire thought was maybe she was a soap actress and they were making a soap. Because remember, it, it went ad after ad after ad and it was their love story coming together. The problem with it was by the end, it wasn't about Amy anymore. No one cared. I, could, I couldn't have told you to all I knew is beautiful breakfoot. I didn't know it was Amy, but I'm rooting for these two. So you have a danger that when you find somebody or some pair that people really want to root for, of people digging into that story and then leaving your brand off of that story. So you have to make sure your brand is front and center as you're doing these things. And great example, because you go great casting, they become a character that you love and you feel close to and you know memorable in many different respects and you want to reinforce that so you want to leverage your memorable character but when you lose your narrative and it gets away from your brand the yeah. character becomes the hero not your brand you know and you see that with compare the market as well you know the heroes become the characters and they kind of forget in some situations what they actually are and what they need to stand for because it's all about they're so in love with their characters that they've created connect it with helping people that is what a brand is it's what a business does businesses help people in some respect you know what in hindsight would have been a very easy fix don't call her Rhonda. call her amy now at least you have your name of your company granted it's going to be spelled differently but no one's going to be looking at the spelling. At least you'll have your name coming up five, six times. And 10 years later, when somebody says beautiful breakfoot, Rhonda, we say beautiful breakfoot, Amy. And at least you get me saying your name. Now that works for Amy. You couldn't have done that with budget direct. Oh, beautiful breakfoot budget direct. Like, but, but in this instance, it would have worked and it could have made the brand a little more front and center. But that's, that's me nitpicking the extension of this in terms of just this one pure ad. I mean, it's, there's a reason it's classic. I'm telling you, man, if you find somebody that people like, congratulations, you've just hit a home run because it's real hard to do. But just on that, the setup of this ad, and I'm not sure if you noticed because many people don't, the setup of the ad is all about Rhonda talking about how she saved money. 
Yeah. You know, she got 15% and then it goes into the story, the little love connection that they've got right there. The sparks were just flying and away they go. And then it reinforces at the end again. So you've got their core value proposition is at the heart of this story. That is the So when hero. is it, where do those, where is that front in, in tail? I didn't see that. It's like camera to Rhonda and Rhonda's talking about how she saved 15% off car insurance. Then Katook comes around with, so it, it seeds it there, doesn't hit home, oh. but it's, it frames the story straight up. I save 15% off my car insurance. Then it tells the story and it loops back at the end. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, I'm so focused on Katoot. So what if you, and I'm just thinking, and now this is me being creative, which we, we've determined I'm not. What if you <laughs> set that very beginning and that very end in a different location to make it a very clear bookend where she's, instead of talking on the phone at the beach, she's in the office with her tan and all of her friends are like, Ooh, what happened? She goes, well, let me tell you. And then they go to the ad and then they come back. And then you can, if you have your soap opera, it keeps coming back to her telling the story to her friends and then goes into the next part of the but, soap opera. 